A very good morning to all the students of class 5. My name is Prerna and today we are going to read chapter number 7 of your book. Now this chapter is a poem and it is written by Robert Louis Stevenson. So now tell me one thing that all of you uh, like I'm sure all of you have traveled to either you know within the country or maybe outside the country so what do you like the most about traveling so if I talk about myself what I like the most about that journey that uh, we take from one place to another is that we get to see a lot of things so if you're going by flight you know you get to see uh, sometimes you get to see uh, you know water bodies you you get to see so many houses which uh, look like tiny spots and talking about train journey so while you are traveling through train you get to see various um, you know landscape then you get sometimes you also get to see a lot of people so in this poem the poet is talking about the various things that one sees when he or she is there on a train journey. So let us start reading this poem. So here we go. So this is chapter number 7 of your book which is a poem and the title of the poem is From a Railway Carriage and it is written by Robert Louis Stevenson. So let us start reading this poem and as I told you that this poem is about a rail, railway journey as uh, seen through the eyes of the poet and the poet is very excited to travel by train because he gets to see a lot many things. So let us see that what are the things that the poet sees during his journey in the train. Faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges and houses, hedges and ditches and charging along like troops in a battle all through the meadows, horses and cattle. All of the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain and ever again in the wink of an eye painted stations whistle by. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles all by himself and gathering brambles. Here is a tramp who stands and gazes and here is the green for stringing the daisies. Here is a cart run away in the road lumping along with a man and load. And here is a mill and there is a river each a glimpse and gone for ever. So let us uh, start uh, understanding this poem stanza wise so in this first stanza the poet is comparing the speed of the train to the speed that fairies or witches have so he's saying the poet is saying that trains travel faster than witches or fairies and then he says that while we are on a train journey we get to see a lot of bridges, houses and you know mountains, hedges and a lot of ditches and charging along like troops in a battle all through the meadows, horses and cattle. So he's saying that you know while we are on the train journey it seems that the meadows, so meadows are the uh, you know gra large grass areas horses and cattle so he's saying that while we are on that train journey it seems that even the meadows and the horses and the cattle are moving along along the train just like the troops move together in a symmetrical manner uh, the the troops of an army the way they march together so this is how it seems like then the poet says all of the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain. And ever again in the wink of an eye, painted stations whistle by. So in the second stanza, the poet says that we also get to see a lot of hills as well as plains. So plains, of course, referring to the plain areas. And these... Uh, uh, you know uh, the the image of uh, these hills and the plain is very strong. Uh, 
and then he says and ever again in the wink of an eye painted stations whistle by so he's saying you know while we are looking at the hill stations while we are looking at the uh, we are looking at the hills we are looking at the plains so by the time we actually get to get a clear look at these hills or the plains the next station arises so wink of an eye means so you know how much time does it take uh, for you to wink your eye a fraction of seconds so he's saying that before you know uh, one can see the hills and the plains clearly the next day it seems that the next station ha is already there then he says here is a child who clambers and scrambles all by himself and gathering brambles here is a tramp who stands and gazes and here is the green for stringing the daisies now the poet is talking about various people that uh, you know one sees during his or her train journey so let us see who are these people that the poet is talking about so here the poet says here is a child who clambers and scrambles so he is saying that there is a a uh, boy who is moving up the hill in a very strange ma manner or uh, rather in a very laborious manner the boy is putting in a lot of efforts you know to move up to the hill and scrambles scrambles means to move quickly and then what is this boy doing all by himself and gathering brambles so this boy is all alone and he is collecting the brambles so brambles refer to the it refers to a wild bush that has black or red berries so this boy is all alone making in a lot of effort to move up the hill and what is he doing he is collecting the brambles here is a tramp who stands and gazes gaze means to you know uh, look at someone uh, continuously and here is the green for stringing the daisies so he says here is the tramp who uh, stands and gazes so there is a tramp which is uh looking and uh, which is continuously looking what is the meaning of tram means a homeless person who moves from place to place so you can see this is this man drawn so he is saying that this homeless person he continuously looks at the ray uh, at the train that is passing by and here is the green for stringing the daisies then he is talking about uh, plants he is talking about uh, green hair refers to leaves so he is talking about leaves uh which uh, you know are used for making a garland out of daisies so daisies uh, is the plural of daisy flower so i'll tell you how a daisy flower looks like so it is yellow uh, in the middle and the petals are white in color so i'll show you what the daisy flower looks like so this is the image of daisy flower so he is saying that now there are Uh, leaves also which are used to make a garland out of the using these daisy flowers so let us see what else has the poet spoken about so next in the last stanza of the poem he says here is a cart run away in the road lumping along with a man and load and here is a mill and there is a river each a glimpse and gone for ever so now he is saying that see there is a cart which is very heavy because there is someone sitting on that and then it is also carrying uh, something uh, some objects are or some load is uh, some objects are uh, kept in this uh, cart which makes it he uh, heavy and difficult to move and it says lumping along with man and load means lumping means very difficult to move and here is a mill and there is a river so you can see a mill here and then there is a river each a glimpse and gone forever what is the meaning of the uh, word glimpse means a very short a very quick look at something or someone so again the poet is saying that the train is so fast like in the first line itself the poet has said that the train travels faster the speed of the train is faster than the witches or the fairy so uh, all these things whether it is the cart whether it is the tram whether it is that little boy who is moving up the hill whether it is the mill or the river i can only have a uh, glimpse at these things i can only have a short look at or a quick look at these things so the poet has uh, truly enjoyed his train 
journey so there's one small activity that you can do next time when you travel by train look at uh, or rather try to match that the things that the poet found or the poet observed during his train journey were you also able to uh, have a glimpse of those things or not and during your train journey did you feel that the trains are faster than fairies and witches so thank you so much i hope you enjoyed reading this poem thank you